It's a fact that most insurance companies will not indemnify against EMF effects. Telecom companies around the world are warning their investors of potential major cost due to real or alleged risks of EMF pollution from their products. Interestingly enough, they're warning their investors, but they're not telling their customers. They're basically keeping it quiet because that's where their money comes from. So we're using technology that could be very potentially harmful to us, and the investors know it. But their only worry is that they might lose money, not that our health might be affected. First of all, I think that the, what you should really think about is why is it that they're not insured. It's not that they chose to be self-insured. They're actually rejected by the insurance company from being insured because they understand the risk. And so the insurance companies, the, the big insurance companies, yes, will not insurance, insure okay. the telecommunications? So, okay. so there's insurance companies, and then there's what's called secondary insurance companies. Secondary insurance companies are the insurance companies that insure the insurance companies. So in an event, an insurance company, let's say, uh, I insure Verizon, and it may not be able to meet the claims, then the secondary insurance company is kicking in. Like Lloyd's yeah. of London. Sorry? Like Lloyd's yes, of exactly. London. So two uh, leading one would be Lloyd's of London and Swiss Rare. Both told the insurance company not to insure the wireless industry, and this is why they're not insured. And that should give you a hint. Now, this is exactly why they have to prevent a uh, health in, uh, uh, lawsuit. And how do they prevent lawsuit? That goes back to Section 704. Section 704 was passed in 1996. This is how our rights in regards to health were taken away by the wireless industry. What this legislation did, it gave the power to regulate the health effects of wireless technology to the FCC. FCC is a spectrum auctioning agency. It's not a health agency. They don't even have one biomedical person on their team. And then the other thing that Section 704 did it actually took the power from the state to regulate location of cell towers based on health. And what does it mean? It means that if they want to put a cell tower in front of your home, you cannot go to your city council and say, hey, stop, I don't want it. I just heard in lecture that there are 10,000 studies proving that it's harmful. I don't want it. My child is sick. They would tell us, stop. You're not allowed to mention this in the city council because Section 704 says that if you will, and if the application will be rejected, the city will be sued, can be sued by the wireless industry. 